Hi everybody, um, today's story is called So Much, which is one of my all time favourite stories. Um, the author is Trish Cook and it's illustrated by Helen Oxenberry. I've read this for over 20, well, maybe 15 years now. Amazing, amazing book. Both my children have grown up hearing the story and the children I teach love it too. So, so much. They weren't doing anything. Mum and the baby, nothing really. And then, ding dong. Oh, Mum looked at the door and the baby looked at Mum. It was... Auntie. Auntie Bibber. Auntie Bibber came inside with her arms out wide, wide, wide with one big, big smile. Oh, she said, I want to squeeze him. I want to squeeze the baby. I want to squeeze him so much. And she sat the baby on her knee and play clap clap and stamp her foot. And then she read him a book. Mm. They weren't doing anything, Mum, the baby, Auntie Bibber, nothing really. And then, ding dong, Mum looked at the door. The Auntie Bibber looked at the baby and the baby looked at Mum. It was Uncle Diddy. Uncle Diddy came inside with his eyebrows raised high, high, high and his lips scrunched up small, small, small. Hello, hello, he said. Oh, I want to kiss him. I want to kiss the baby. I want to kiss him so much. And the baby, and he put the baby on his shoulders and he felt shaky, shaky. You flip him over and he nearly drop him. Eee! They weren't doing anything. Mum, the baby, Auntie Bibba, Uncle Diddy, nothing really. And then, ding dong, yoo-hoo, yoo-hoo. Mum looked at the door. Uncle Diddy looked at Auntie Bibber. Auntie Bibber looked at the baby. The baby looked at Mum. It was... Nanny! Nanny and Gran Gran. Nanny and Gran Gran came inside with their handbags hook up to one side and their brollies hook up on their sleeve. Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo! They said, oh, I want to eat him. I want to eat the baby. I want to eat him so much. They hug him and they love him and they make him feel so cosy, singing songs and dancing until it was time for sleep. They weren't doing anything. Mum, the baby, Auntie Bibber, Uncle Diddy, Nanny, Gran Gran, nothing really. Then, ding dong, hey, pow, pow. Mum looked at the door. Nanny looked at Gran Gran. Gran Gran looked at Uncle Diddy. Uncle Diddy looked at Auntie Bibber. Auntie Bibber looked at the baby. It was Cousin KK and Big Cousin Ross. KK came inside and he spin his hat up round and round and he do like him riding horsey. Giddy up, giddy up. Hey, pow, pow, he said. I want to fight the baby. I want to fight him. I want to fight him so much. And they wrestled and they wrestled and he pushed the baby first. The baby hit him back. He gave the baby pitch. The baby gave him slap. And they laugh and they laugh and they laugh. And 
the house was full, 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 and they sit down there waiting for the next ding dong, and they wait and they wait, the wait never come. Mom said, everybody all right? And the baby and the cousin start to fight again. Nanny and Gran Gran, they take out cards and dominoes and Uncle Diddy starts slap them down on the table. Auntie Bibber plays some records really loud and Mom said, oh man, what a madness all around. They weren't doing anything. Mom, the baby, Auntie Bibber, Uncle Diddy, Nanny and Gran Gran and Cousin KK. Nothing really. And then, ding dong, I'm home. Mum picked up the baby and they all waited by the door. Surprise! Everybody said, Happy birthday, Daddy! Mum said and everyone joined in. Happy birthday, Dad! Daddy rubbed the baby's face against the whiskers on his chin and Mum brought in all the food that she'd been cooking. Looks like a great party. Everybody enjoyed the party and when it was time to go home, everybody was tired. But the baby wanted to play some more. Mum said, no. And she put him to bed. But the baby played bounce bounce with Ted, played bounce bounce in his cot, and he remembered everybody saying how they wanted to squeeze him and kiss him and eat him and fight him because they love him so much. I hope you enjoyed that story and I hope you'll join me for another one soon. Bye.